So here we are in PowerPoint and I wanted to show you how to highlight a area of anatomy you're interested in uh, outlining and there's a variety of ways to do this. The quickest way which uh, isn't quite as clean is to go to insert shapes and then select the scribble tool here in the drop down menu from the shapes and when you do that uh, you can basically just draw around the edges of the shape quite quickly and uh, that will highlight the shape and you can fill it with a shape fill. Um, but you'll notice that the edges here are going to just be wherever your pen stroke was which usually is not quite as smooth as you would like. So the way that's really not much slower but uh, quite superior in terms of having nice smooth lines is to go to insert shapes so that just like we did before um, and then right next to that we have the curve tool. And so we click that curve tool. You can click and each time you click it'll lay down a new shape and it will approximate a curve between those two points. And so you can use that to go around whatever piece of anatomy you're trying to highlight or image and that will create a nice smooth line uh, around the shape that you're trying to do. And as, if you get back to the first point then it will close the shape and then we can fill it with whatever color we want um, but you'll notice then that we can't see the anatomy behind the highlighted shape that we want to see. So you can right click on that and click format shape and that will open up the format shape menu here and then you can adjust the transparency slider to adjust the transparency of the shape that you want. You can also often uh, adjust the transparency of the line you want or you can just go up here to the shape outline and just remove the shape outline altogether. And so that's a quick and easy way to highlight the shape um, with a color to show uh, whatever piece of anatomy you're trying to depict. Um, the other thing that you can do, say you screwed up one of your points or one of them isn't quite right or you just need to change it for some reason, um, in the format menu you can go over here to edit shape and click that drop down menu and bring up this uh, edit points. So you click on edit points and it will show you each of those points you laid down and if you click on a specific point it will show you these modifying handlebars that are modifying that curve in a certain way. So you can see if I turn those I can then adjust the contour of that shape and the further I pull them out the more it's going to modify further away from the point and then the closer I pull them in the closer it's going to modify to the point itself. And you can also click on the point itself and drag and move that around to a separate area. So those are the different ways you can modify uh, the point and so say I want to bring this one in a little bit to show a little bit more of that sharp contour change uh, between the uh, head of the talus and the neck of the talus. Um, to kind of give us a little bit better uh, outline of that anatomy. So uh, those are the different ways to make a shape in PowerPoint, and I hope that helps you in your annotating of images. Thanks.